This episode of Chuffed Adventures, I crew on Kyle before leaving the Gypsy fleet to return to Chuffed, with an 80 pound life raft in tow, only to find a bad leak and a turtle in need of my help. We awoke to a beautiful sunrise, however we were feeling the effects of my goodbye party the night before. Fun crewing on Joanna. Oh, if you can go. Maybe we'll have to take you over in car. Woo, there you go. We might go with Minnow. Woo, woo. Oh. Go, Minnow, go. Happy sailing slash motoring. All right, I'm on SV Carl. So we did a crew swap. So I'll be with Nika today and Simon's on Joanna. And We'll probably be motoring most of the way, I reckon, <laughs> but it'll be fun. And I'll get to hang on a uh, little boat again, which will be really nice as well, because it's been fun on Joanna, but uh, Kyle's a little more similar to Chuffed, so it'll be good fun. <laughs> we raised anchor and began the eight mile journey around Isla Viveros' north side to reach the southwestern anchor. Oh. Yay! Mm. Righty ho, ready for the tiller? <laughs> I'm ready. It's been a while since I've handled the tiller. Yeah. But... <laughs> you can never really capture current properly. No, on. it's really hard. Like anything like waves and currents is so difficult to capture. Yeah. And you'd be going like through the craziest like waves and you're like, oh my god, it's so rolly. And then yeah. like, you look at it on camera, you're like, hmm, it looks really flat. Bad. It's yeah. like it looks like really stable. <laughs> you're like, wow, that wasn't a storm. in there the current was pulling us back out so we were only going like one knot at one point and basically not moving but we revved up Carl's engine and managed to um, get out of there so now we're coming around the corner here and basically we're going to round that point and uh, tuck into an anchorage on the other side We motored and chatted our way around the island. It was nice to spend some quality time with Nika again since the last time we saw each other here in the Las Perlas Islands. It was pretty easy going, which was good for our recovering bodies. Is he 
fishing already. No, there's oh. some fish jumping like crazy. Oh, nice. We made it to Viveros. Yay! We got White Shadow. We got Joanna. Jo, Jo, Joanna. Jo, Jo, Joanna. And then easy like Sunday morning somewhere back here. There he is. <laughs> Everybody seems to be napping. <laughs> Taking a little rest from the from last night's shetty goodbye party. <laughs> I should I would like a nap, but I should probably pack my things at some point too. Oh yeah, what time is it now? Eleven Oh you still have two. You got a bit of time. Hours. Yeah. yeah. Was I the best crew member you've ever had? You were. <laughs> I knew it. Best ever. <laughs> and as you know, like uh, Barry was like, ah, oh, you know. <laughs> he's, I think he's liking the looks better. <laughs> yeah, aesthetically pleasing crew members exactly. are always good. <laughs> it's nice to have some other people's asses in some of the shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you having me on board. Yeah, thank you for good. coming. It was fun. <laughs> I don't want to go back, but it'll be good. Get chuffed out of Bond, hopefully. Yeah, totally. And then you come and... Join the gypsy fleet. Yay! Come cruising with us. <laughs> Before we all knew it, it was goodbye gypsy oh, crew yeah, and hello is. Panama City. Whew. You got it? Just have fun watching her walk around, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Alright. Bye guys! <laughs> Bye Barry! <laughs> have a safe trip, both of you. You've got a lot more distance to go. Uh, yeah. So... I'll fly up in a second. Yeah, it'll be good. You will both get there safe and sound. Hopefully we smooth and bow. Yeah. Yeah, you, you'll be there in like 15 days. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I'm going to start calling yeah. it easy, Mike. From now on, it's super fast, Mike. I know. Easy, speedy. Too easy. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. With a two-hour ferry ride back to the city, it was a lot quicker than sailing. All right, I made it to Panama City. Um, just waiting for my Uber to Elbrook Mall where I'm going to pick up a trolley so that I can get my um, life raft tomorrow. I've got all the day planned out so we've got a busy day and then I'll try and get the bus tomorrow night back to Costa Rica. We'll see how we go. Found some bungee ropes. And I found the trolley I want. It's collapsible. But it's $80. Wee. But I need it. Good morning everybody. I am in Old Town, Casco Viejo in Panama. It's very beautiful here. Lots of really old cool buildings um, but it's becoming very gentrified and getting turned into restaurants and cool hotels and different things like that. But very cool area to hang out. Managed to find myself some caffeine. Because it's a cool place to hang out nothing's open until like nine but one cafe could serve me some tea. I'm just waiting for the uh, French Embassy to open just over this way so I can drop off Mike's passport so that he can get over to French Polynesia and just been looking at the buildings and some of the surrounds you can see a lot of the sailboats from here and yeah plan is after I've done the French Embassy business and had a little breakfast I'm gonna head to get my life raft so that should be cool I have a feeling it's gonna be a little difficult hauling that thing around but I'm excited to go see it and get it alrighty this place has changed a little bit. You guys will remember Las Brisas, where we were anchored for a really long time. And they're really doing it up more and more. And that's one of the other marinas on the other side. But we are going to go to Arturo's office and get my life raft. Aquí para este yo creo mi puro uh, okay. life. Okay. Uh. I strapped up the laugh raft in Panama City Mall and got the eight hour bus from Panama City to the border. My bus arrived two hours early so it's four in the morning so I'm just gonna lie here at the station for an hour or two and then check in to Costa Rica. And my friend's gonna give me a lift back to the boat with all of this crap and uh, we'll try and get her out of Bond this week. Wish me luck! 
Unfortunately, there was to be no such luck. All I could do is have a cocktail on deck and wait for another day. But I actually got a call out to go help a turtle that Phoebe had rescued. Yeah, she's really red. My thoughts would be it's worth starting her on antibiotics mm -hmm. and we could look at giving her, um, oh yeah, she's really red here. Um, maybe an anti-inflammatory and some fluids just to start and then I yeah. would probably talk with... Be careful, darling. Is that, what's her eye? Is it red? Yeah, it is a little bit. I don't know whether it's... Yeah. Like even the tip of her tongue looks just that little bit like... Yeah. I mean, and for me to pull that open that easily. You see how she's a bit yellowy and... Yeah, like that, that look at that. The redness can indicate a septic infection. Unfortunately, here in the jungle, we have very little testing facilities available to us. So we have to try our best with what we think is going on. And in this case, I chose to use fluids, antibiotics, and anti-inflammatories to try to treat the possible conditions. Working on the jungle floor in the dark can be a bit challenging, but worth it if we can get this little turtle better. Back on board, I discovered yet another problem. It's another rainy day in good old Golfito. So um, the little turtle is doing a little better today. She's gone to the toilet um, and seemed semi-interested in food. So yeah, we'll keep trying with her, but I'll keep you updated on her progress. I'm gonna go back and visit her in a few days. Um, in other news, boat problems as always, my uh, dripless is dripping. And as the name might suggest, it's not meant to drip. So, um, and since I'm not able to get the boat out of bond yet, I uh, also just want to do a bit of like a check on the sails and you know just kind of make sure everything's where it's meant to be. So my friend Tathio from another boat called Yo-Yo is here at the moment and he has done survey work before and uh, has been on boats a really long time so he's going to come and help me check a few things out tomorrow. Tassio and I had done a quick chuffed inspection before diving down to tie plastic bags around the shaft. It took a few goes and a few plastic bags over a couple of days, but in the end we got the leak to stop. With that job done, it was off to see the lovely Hawksbill turtle again. Alright, I'm going to go see the little turtle for the last time before I leave. Um, she is doing better, slowly but surely, but yeah, we'll go see how she's doing. It was pretty funny asking for fish at the um, fish market because I had to try and explain that I didn't need anything expensive and with no bones because I needed to blend it for a turtle. And they kept, I think they thought I wanted to eat turtle. And so they kept being like, no, we don't sell turtle here. We have fish eggs. And I was like, no, no, no. I need food for a turtle. Anyway, got there in the end. So yes, we'll head off. This is our turtle tube feeding setup. <laughs> so it's really important to keep them upright when you tube feed them so that um, it all stays in their belly and doesn't get regurgitated up. We'll see how we go. Oh. You got it! What yes! Blood. <laughs> Precious blood! <laughs> you can see why they're called a hawk's bill. Alright, we've got her back in the water. Um, she's showing some signs of improvement, but she's still super, super weak. Um, just really not acting like a normal turtle. So. Um, we're going to keep going with antibiotics and keeping her here in our little makeshift hospital and Phoebe's going to continue tube feeding her and giving her fluids and we're consulting with the turtle vets up north to see if we can get her into hospital because we think she really needs some testing like um, x-rays and blood tests and things I can't do here so yeah we'll see how we go good timing is that there's a turtle specialist coming from the states to visit Phoebe in a few days so they're going to check in as well and um, see what more we can do for her so I'll keep you updated on what happens with her all right, so in the last few days trying to get chuffed a bit shut down uh, and ready for me to go back to Australia for Christmas, we found the dripless leak, which we, um, my friend Tassio helped me repair it by putting plastic bags 
on the outside of the shaft um, where it exits the boat to try and stop water entering, which has worked. It took us two dives. Uh, I'll show you what it kind of looks like, but yes, it was a nerve wracking few days while it was leaking, but for now is okay. Um, and there was a few other little boat jobs I had to do, like there was another little minor fuel leak, a few things like that. Um, I've got a lot of things I need to get when I'm back in Australia to get chuffed ready to go. Obviously that means I haven't been able to take her out of the marina uh, before I go because she has got a hole in her essentially if I try and run the engine. So um, the plan is to get a new dripless sent to Australia which I'll bring back with me. And just down this way in Golfito they have made a train system. It's made to pull power boats and they were really iffy about bringing my boat out on it. Uh, but I think it will work because Chuffed has the lifting keel so she can become flat. So yeah, should be all okay. Um, yeah, so really I'm waiting on that and then hopefully I can start moving again. Appreciate you all sticking around for the last year of not moving. It's been quite a process between the issues with the registration, being in bond and now boat problems. It's um, been a challenging year to say the least, but it's been a good year too. A lot of good things have happened and I feel like I've done a lot of good animal work, which has been really great. Um, learned a lot about the boat, even if it has been through trial and error and things breaking. But it's important to know your boat. So I think it's all good in the end. Everything happens for a reason, right? So yeah, I uh, appreciate all you guys watching and this will be the end of the Chuffed Adventures just for a little while. Gonna have a break over Christmas and coming into the new year. And then I'll be back on board in January doing a little bit of yard work and then hopefully out of here. So yeah, stay tuned for all that and I'll keep you all updated on the plans. Um, I'll admit I still haven't decided whether I want to go north or south of Costa Rica yet. Um, it all depends on a lot of factors when I haul the boat out as well as to how far I want to go, how quickly. Um, any suggestions on places to visit, always welcome. And I hope you all have a very happy Christmas and a chuffed new year. And as always, until next time, stay chuffed everybody. I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody who continues to support Chuffed Adventures. If you've been considering subscribing to the channel or becoming a patron, please do so because now more than ever I could use your help. With all of the jobs coming up, it's going to be a big year in 2019. Hope you all have had a very Merry Christmas and that 2019 brings you even more Chuffed Adventures. Until next time, stay chuffed everybody.